Hey guys, so we have here our Sony SRS-XB100 Bluetooth speaker and in this video we want to explain to you how to pair this speaker to our Windows computer. So this could be for example Windows 10 or Windows 11. Um, other versions will work similarly but in this case we're using Windows 11. So of course first we're going to turn on the speaker and then in case the speaker is still brand new then it's going to automatically switch into the Bluetooth pairing mode. And in case that is not happening to you for you, then you just press the Bluetooth button here one time, and then it's going to enable the pairing mode. And at this point, we can already switch over to our Windows machine. So when we take a look at the bottom of the screen, then we should find here the uh, magnifying glass. And when we click on that, then we have the search bar here in the on the top of this pop-up. And here we're going to type in Bluetooth. And that will bring up some suggestions and one of them is here Bluetooth and other device settings. So let's click on that and then we have here Bluetooth and devices. So when we click on that then the, change, the screen changes a little bit and here we're going to make sure that first of all the Bluetooth feature or the functionality is enabled to so make sure this is the switch here is turned on. And then we can press here on add device. So for some reason, there's like two options to do this. It doesn't matter which one you pick. This one here with the blue button or the big button here on the top. Just select any of them. And then we're going to pick here the first option that is Bluetooth um, when we are going to add the device. And then the computer is going to search now for our speaker and it's finding it within several seconds or just a few seconds here, SRS XB100. We click on that and then it says here, okay, we're already connected and then we're pressing on done. And now we can already see here that the speaker is connected. We can even see that the speaker has a microphone built in and is able to play audio playback. And then we have here the battery percentage even of the speaker. So right now this speaker is charged to a 20%. So if you ever want to remove the device, you can do that here in the upper right corner. But now one thing that you may want to check just in case it doesn't quite, the speaker doesn't quite work yet, that, uh, yet, then you're going to type here sound into the search bar on the left side. And here we're going to find the sound settings. And here you have the output device. Make sure that the SRS XB100 is selected as the output device. We can also set here the, uh, the volume if you want to, or there's some other settings in here to uh, change the uh, audio characteristics. And then in case you want to use the microphone that's built into the uh, SRS XB100, then you can do that as well. So if we scroll down a just a little bit, then we find here uh, the input section. And we find this here really quick. Okay, so on the very top is the output and then underneath, right underneath is here the input. And here we see right now the uh, um, microphone of my uh, webcam is right now connected, is, is selected. But if you wanted to use the microphone of the uh, SRS XB100, then we can just uh, select this here uh, if we choose so. But honestly, I don't think the microphone of that speaker is that great. So I'm just going to keep using the microphone from my webcam. Okay, so yeah, and uh, that was already it for this video. Hope you found the information helpful. And if you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.